Welcome back to Rimworld. I'm fairly impressed with how this base looks so far. I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, we have the issue where we build everything out of fucking wood every single time. But this time, look at this. We've actually got a decent base within the first, like, 15 days. It's, it's an absolute shocker. So... What we've got to focus on realistically is the research for quite a while, I think. I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted just to let these two boys sort of take over. Oh, you idiot. Working on the base by themselves and then have Jilp just sit there and do nothing but research. So that we can start getting up to some of those, you know, obviously the mods that we've included. But so we can start focusing on some other things as well. Now, one of you pointed out actually on the topic of research. That apparently under like drug production or something along those times. There we are. Yeah, some of you had a very eagle eye there. Make antiseptic corpse. That's what we want to go for, so that we can actually use these corpses for, you know, some reason otherwise, other than just rotting in our freezer for the most part. So, this was going to be, let me just refresh my memory here, this was going to be the what exactly? Dining room? Kitchen? Freezer? Was that, oh no no, this is clearly the freezer, although this will make more sense because it's by the farm, genius. And plus it's expandable that way. Yeah, what we'll do then is we'll expand this zone over here. Uh, we'll delete this one, and we'll clear all this one, set to critical, and then go and allow food. Or not. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, it's foods are uh, plural. Yeah, my mistake. Okay, so we'll allow all of that there. Are maggots food? Okay, I suppose you probably want to keep them in the freezer though, so they don't, so they don't get destroyed. Although you just kind of assume they would die if you get them in the freezer. It doesn't matter either way. More to the point. Let's go. Uh, let's also put human corpse in there as well. Let's get rid of insect corpses because those are no use no matter what. And then let's let this guy out of here. So this is going to be our kitchen, I guess, and that does kind of work as well. So we can do something like that. In fact, we might want to remove this door so they don't use the. Uh, the freezer as a shortcut to get in and out of the dining room. That's something I'll work on in a minute, right? Do you want to go and let yourself out of here, you big idiot? Good God. So one thing about Rimworld that always annoys me is when they, like, mine themselves into a corner or build themselves into a corner or something like that and don't actually let themselves have an escape route. Okay, so that rotten corpse is a fair, fairly, you know, big pain in the ass right now. We won't worry about it too much. So the other thing to point out is that last episode I said, should we make Joel a psychopath? Because it doesn't make any sense that he's happy to be this blood-sucking creature of the night. But also, dead corpses kind of upset him. So I have gone ahead and made him a psychopath, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. does kind of make sense, huh? I mean, it just makes so much sense that I could not do it. And everybody seemed pretty on board with that just because, you know, thematically it worked fine. Then, I think... We'll start planning things out using the planning mod that we've got in here, but like blueprinting, sort of getting out a decent layout for the colony, that type of thing as well. We don't want rotten corpses. Do I allow rotten? What a fool. Okay, let's get those out of there. Or do we want to allow rotten human corpses? I guess it really does depend on to what degree. Oh, actually, research batteries first. That's a, that's a stupid thing to do. Uh, where are batteries this time around? Yeah, let's go for those first, and then maybe even water mill generators would be a good idea. Um, what's I going to say? What was I saying? Yeah, we'll plan things out. We'll, like, uh, get a good plan out for the prison. Obviously, like I said, like, Job's Castle being across the river would be awesome. And then have walls within walls. So, Job's Castle would be the hardest one to, in theory, siege. Because that's going to be probably the end goal of this when we're going to use the Misk endgame mod to actually bring about all the factions to come and siege us and have just this big, long showdown here. How are you doing, Job? How's your... Oh, you know what? He's going to be researching a lot slower because everything's in complete darkness, genius. All right, then. Let's put up some... Uh, we put down a wall lamp there. That seems like a good idea. So these things, I assume, are fueled by fire. Uh, but, well, obviously, but I mean by wood. That's, that's actually what I meant to say there. Because we obviously don't really have enough electric to be able to run these freezers and everything else. Uh, yeah, they use fuel. That's a much better idea, because I can't imagine they even use that much wood either. Seeing as, as you can see there, we're getting rolling brownouts on our... Um... Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me then. We're getting rolling brownouts on our coolers anyway, so we want to be somewhat careful with that. In fact, we don't really need this cooler anymore. They're not, like, too cold in there. In the bedroom, maybe without a table, disturbed sleep, darkness, hungry. Okay, yeah, well, we better stop that as soon as possible, huh? Okay, so, that's going to be the kitchen area. Why don't we just have one stockpile for now? Or, or at least shrink this one down, and then copy the settings from this one and just sort of paste it into here. Um, we've also got a dead feralisk, which I really would not want lying around out here, thank you. Let's make a dumping zone as well, just sort of down the back of the base here. Right, so, let's go critical, clear all, allow rotten. And then we'll say, I guess... Foods? Does that count? We just probably want to do corpses, right? Just any rotten corpses can sit out the back there, and we will we'll worry about that later on. And then this one, we don't have to worry about the rotten aspect of things so much. <gasps> yeah, hiccups already. Right, let's copy the settings from this one then and paste it into here. I think it was already set up right, and then we'll just sort of expand that over. So that way, we're not having to worry about them constantly being upset because their dining rooms are kind of shithole right now, huh? There was a massive post put upon uh, the Discord as well. 
by uh, a lurker, apparently. Someone who, someone who said they were a lurker, but just had some advice about uh, the mod pack. So there are certain mods that are actually irrelevant with the new Rimworld patch. I didn't realize quite how much this new Rimworld patch added. I've since removed those. For those of you who are also playing on the same pack, I just recommend removing Rim's load, because that's basically been incorporated into base game Rimworld. Um, another thing to point out is that certain mods just don't seem to be working as intended. So the Vegetable Garden Light mod, although that's enabled properly and should be working as intended, we're still allowed to grow bamboo and things, which apparently that disables. Um, it's, it's not such a big deal. It's just for, you know, efficiency, but obviously it runs very well anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. There are a couple of other things like the ammo types only affect the vanilla guns, so we'll just say rifle ammo, whereas these ones are the additional guns added by Combat Extended, so don't worry about that. The other thing as well, that the weapons tab isn't super accurate for Combat Extended, and no pun intended, it's the accuracy itself that is a little uh, questionable with that. So shotguns in it have low DPS, when in fact they're actually very, very good in combat extended so just pay attention to i guess the damage value rather than dps or accuracy or anything like that and base obviously our decisions on kind of field experience would make a lot more sense it's not completely useless but it's not the best guide either so i think before things get out of hand let's actually start work on some meals huh? because we've only got two left obviously it's just these two guys that we need to feed geopos are relevant so let's go and put down some furniture to start off with here um fuel stove or electric stove ideally i'd like an electric stove a wooden electric stove huh that doesn't sound like a good idea at all Put that one there. We'll put the uh, butcher's table. Can anybody see a butcher's table here? I don't think there is a an old-style butcher's table anyway. Let's go furniture and... Oh, sorry, production. My mistake. Uh, production. And uh, let's go butcher's table. Just sort of put one of these down over here. That's fine. Ideally, we want to move it as far away from this as possible. So actually, I'm going to gonna do something I wouldn't normally do. Just replace those. I think that's a much better idea. Um, so this is going to be the... Oh, this is going to be the dining room, you big idiot. Right, okay. Let's change the plan. Ignore me. Right, cancel that one, cancel that one. Um, let's go back to old-style furniture and put another one of these electric stoves. Sort of down over here. That's enough distance as far as I'm concerned. Now, we also have the additional linkables mods. There's also, like, kitchen cupboards. I believe two of those can be connected, so we'll build one either side of that. Um, don't need to do that anymore either. My mistake. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel that one. There we go. And then we just want to put, like, a table in there and make it kind of look a little bit nicer to get them the mood buff as well. So let's go for... Um, just a Celtic table, 3x3. Three three. It's a little bit large, but it'll do. I mean, it's not too bad, huh? And um, we'll sort of put it in this direction a little bit more to not block the walkways or anything like that. Right, dining chair. Let's go one, two, three, and one, two, three. That would do as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't know if these, what do these do? Like, give beauty and stuff? Um, oh, increases cook speed when placed near a fueled stove. Okay, that's impressive. Um, not that we need to worry about that too much, but uh, what do they go up on the walls? Oh, they do. That's kind of cool. Um, what else have we got then in terms of decoration that could, that could be somewhat useful here? Um, fireplace, obviously not a bad idea as well. We got like cupboards. What does that do? Place near a fueled stove. Uh, bookshelves. Oh, look at that. Increases research speed when placed near a research table. Oh, this is cool. I do like this mod as well because it sort of suits the aesthetic, right? And then we can put down rugs and shit as well. We won't worry about that for now. Let's just get this kitchen built. And then who is our cook? It's going to be Mal. So let's go ahead and cook four simple meals. Now, I have also got a mod that tweaks this a little bit so it's a bit more um, fair. Let's, let's put it that way. So normally, four simple meals cook this, uh, take the same amount of time to cook as four regular meals, which is obviously kind of OP because you're not going back and forth gathering ingredients or dropping them off once or another. So this has kind of adjusted it, so it's, it's similar in that regard. Um, so take those back to the freezer, good. And then we also obviously want to build our, our butcher's table at some stage as well. Now, batteries shouldn't take much longer. With the second Jill wakes up, those are going to be done. So I'm kind of happy to already start hooking this stuff up. We don't need to worry about the freezer too much. And actually, what we can do as well is build these over into here and start refrigerating everything as well. It's already looking kind of nice. I'm pretty happy with how this base is going, huh? Raid. Oh, God, we still have no weapons. Shit. Um, okay, so how many people is it? Could they have not raided at night time? For fuck's sake. Okay, it's one person with a knife again, so I'm not too concerned. Van has a knife. Mal has a big old club. Oh, we've got a second knife as well. I'm going to assume that has a higher DPS. Uh, let's go weapons. Let's go melee. Uh, still knife. Oh, we actually can't find out. Well, not that it matters that much. Let's go, let's go and equip this one. All right. We should be fine. What time is it now? So it's it's literally midday. So unfortunately, Jilp is going to have to sit this one out as well. Look at that. Right, right in sync. Okay. Stand outside. Get ready. Good luck, team. We're not going to lose anyone, I, I believe. Okay. So they are clearly moving down to attack Mal. So you come down and close the gap here. Nice. Good shot. We got the first hit there and stunned. You get a follow-up attack. Go for it, team. I believe. We're not going to take any damage. You watch this. Oh, you watch this. There's a knife fight. Oh, God, Van, you shit. Knife fight for the ages. Level 5 in melee. That's what we're after. Come on, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, shit, we took something. If we can knock him down and strip him, then we get another skull mask. Nice. I think all the wardens should wear skull masks. I think that would look awesome. Right. Uh, Not carrying... Oh, no, I want to strip them. No, oh, actually, are they any good? Do we want to stabilize them? 
melee, plants. Oh, they're not bad. They seem to be capable of everything. Capable of none. Scout, uh, they're beautiful. Chemical shooter, chemical fascination, asexual. I mean, chemical fascination is kind of a pain in the ass. But besides that, though, this is this is good. Like, careful shooter especially is quite nice. Um, maybe we want to capture you and actually bring you into the colony as one of the wardens. Not a bad idea. We'll turn this into a prison. Prison slash, uh... Prison slash dining room? Sure. For temporarily, it's not such a bad idea, huh? Let's go ahead and put that down then. So let's go furniture and sleeping spot for now. And uh, let's turn you into prisoner. Perfect. Okay, um, who is more fucked up? So you've been cut by a knife, you've been cut by a knife, you've been stabbed in the shoulder. That's that's much worse. You've just been cut in the leg. So you capture her, you go and get yourself well rested, my friend. Oh, he's gonna tend to himself anyway, that also works. And we got a poor knife rather than an awful knife, so that's kind of an upgrade as well. Sure. Welcome aboard, uh, whatever your name was, I don't remember now, Irasa, sure. Now, what are you doing in terms of, oh, death in 11 hours, Van, you are our doctor, judging by the fact that, oh, wait, are you our doctor? Why was he allowed to tend to himself? He's got a medical of, oh, he's got a medical of 14, well, shit. Um, you've got one, 1.3. Okay, you know what, Van, instead of having you, like, block some plants, I'm gonna replace that with doctor, because I think being able to see at a glance who's our doctor in an emergency situation... That's kind of a little more useful, huh? Rather than, oh no, I need to emergency grow some rice for the next two weeks' time. That's not as important. There you go, you'll be as good as new. Nothing to worry about, let's get an infection, at which point we can't cure that, because we've got no medicine, unfortunately. At that point, you'll die. We can go out and find something, it's okay. Yeah, not a bad character there. Not, not a bad first recruit to get on board, anyway. Uh, now I'm a little bit concerned, because of course we have no... No food. And now we've got another person to feed as well. So... Let's get these hooked up first and foremost. Um, have we got like, oh, we've got plenty of trees nearby. Why don't we just go for a sort of broad area harvest? There, oh, wait, is this grown? 67%. No, we don't want to harvest those yet. Okay. Um, let's go for a broad area harvest and sort of see what we can grab here. Boom, that'll do it. All right, perfect. Let's see if that will uh, keep us going for a while at least. So those guys should go out and start uh, start grabbing things. Jilp, can you harvest? Jilp can harvest, but research is higher. I think we'll set Jilp just to harvest for now. He can go and get some food ready for when they want to wake up in the morning. Perfect. All right, we're good. Research finished battery. Okay, we didn't need to worry about it anyway. Why is he not harvesting this, though? Oh, it's plant cutting. Right, my mistake. There we go. Number one, you are back in the game. Okay, cool. So let's put down some batteries then, because that was a sort of big concern we had going on for a second. What are we looking for here? Power and battery. And then we've also got human power generators, which I'm really, really hoping we can make the prisoners cycle all day. And then they get, they get, you know, perhaps we could give them food based on how much they cycle. And then maybe they could get like a little implant on their wrist that shows, you know, how much food they're allowed or something along those lines. Uh, it's, it's a terrible idea, I know. Right, let's put this uh, reference to a movie, by the way, before I get 100 comments sort of saying how fucking stupid that was. <laughs> Excuse me, streamer, there's no mod for that. What are you talking about, you madman? Right. So it sounds as if to me, somebody out there Jilp is off harvesting some peaches. Pe are peaches green when they're growing? I no, they are, aren't they? I don't, I don't know. But do you think I'd know fruit? I sit here and play video games all day. What the fuck would I know about fruit, you madman? So there we go. They've got a little bit of food to last now for a while. We've got berries. We've got cherries. We've got apples. We've got mushrooms. And they've got some petals if things get really, really desperate there. All right, so we've actually hit our marble chunk stuff already here. So that, that what I've done is I've set it up so that they'll make 500 marble blocks. If they can do nothing else, they'll then start hauling more backup marble chunks over into this stockpile. And obviously when that's full, they'll, they'll have nothing to do after that. So I guess we need to go out mining then, huh? I'm trying to not do too much mining because we're quite far away, obviously, from any rock face here. So we're actually going and getting stuff. Can take a long time just to get back and forth. And then if they get like an illness or something, they'll start running over. And obviously it'll be a massive mess from that. Let's deconstruct this to start with. Are there any other ship chunks on the map? There are three, apparently. Am I blind? Um, apparently so, because I can't for the life of me... Oh, there's another one there, which I'm not particularly interested in. Um, that is all I can see. I can't see... Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, so so we'll, we'll stick with these two. These are fine. Um, everything else we won't worry about, seeing as, you know, that's obviously closer than going to the compactor machinery anyway. Do need a little bit for our, you know, batteries, coolers, whatever else we want to build as well. So go and get those. Plus, I believe certain hygiene stuff requires, if we go over to the hygiene misc, or just hygiene one. Some of these require components as well. Yeah, like your, your boilers require that. But like a solar heater, because that worked out really, really well last time when we were pretty tight on electricity. What about like uh, showers too? Simple shower requires water from water towers. Okay, cool. That's nothing to worry about then. We are good for quite a long time. In fact, this is very luxurious. What we probably should have done is actually have them rather than go out and get components for the future. I mean, it is future-proofing, so it's not such a bad thing. We should probably have them laying down tiles. You know, try and make the base look a lot nicer, huh? So let's uh, let's work on that next, seeing as we've got just enough to do so. Now, I don't really give too much of a shit about laying tiles down in the freezer, but obviously just putting our floor in there wouldn't be too bad. 
Um, otherwise, they start traipsing dirt into the house, that type of thing. So we'll do something like that. There we go. All right. And then let's also have them chop down some trees also. Now, we need to find some steel. Steel, I didn't realize we were so low on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. People ask why I dismantle the walls first, because when you dismantle the walls, there's obviously more tiles underneath it. So you can dismantle those, then come back and get all the tiles in one go. It's just personal preference, because I feel like doing it the other method, you're likely to forget resources. 1am and Jilp is busy laying the tiles. Now, what we probably also should do, even though it's kind of a pain in the ass, is we could sort of need to put a, uh, like a basin or something for the prisoners to get water from. Otherwise, they're going to die of dehydration, as they tend to. Dehydration trivial. It's already started. I've fallen into this trap so many series before. But hey, look, if nothing else, you guys can go from this episode knowing that I have learned something. And that is that we need to actually feed our prisoners. Probably the, ma the, the fountains are very, very good. Not only that, but obviously our colonists can use it as well if they're just sort of passing through the area here. I think a fountain is all they'll need. We could put down like a toilet for our prisoner as well. But I feel a little weird putting a toilet in the dining room. I mean, either that or they're just going to shit in a bedpan, which we can clean up in no time. So I'd, I'd rather just put down this because this has, you know, usefulness in the future. We're not going to have a permanent toilet in the dining room. And yet another raid. Okay, wow, this has been a lot more action-packed, huh? Group of tribes people from the tribe of Kaola have arrived nearby. One of the good parts to obviously going back to this more traditional series where I can do a lot of editing means that we can keep in all the important stuff and not have to the boring stuff. Like, what the fuck was I supposed to comment on the night time there? I suppose I managed it for all series. Is that a raid? Oh, God, it is. They've bought a Titanus with them. Or is it just a Madden Titan? Wait, what? Oh, my God. I know what mod this is. Okay, so I've got another mod, which is kind of funny as well. So we've got a sometimes... Does it, does it say on that? No, I didn't. So we've got a mod that is uh, sometimes ready to go wrong. So this person just happened to turn up, and then they were immediately attacked by this Titanus. That's incredible. Oh, what a great mod. I do like that mod quite a lot. Unfortunately, though, now we have to worry about a gigantic Titanus. Are you okay? You're worth recruiting. Um, living out in five hours. Let's be honest. By the time we've killed this thing, there's no way in hell we're going to be we're gonna be prepared for that. Oh, God, we've only got knives. Oh, uh, I think we might just want to wait this one out. I'll be honest with you. We might just want to sit in the house. Come back indoors. There's plenty of stuff to do indoors. I'm going to forbid the, 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 the ability to leave the house for a while. Yeah, I don't really want to fight that thing with knives for hopefully obvious reasons. So let's just let it, you know, freak out for a little bit. Then over... Oh, is, is it bleeding out? Oh, it is bleeding. Okay, so it will get weaker over time. It's not enough to kill it, though, unfortunately. It will heal over unless it gets an infection or something. Um, we'll just wait. Honestly, these guys can lay some tiles or something. It's not like we haven't got anything to do, you know, them being trapped indoors all day. Let's put down a couple more. In fact, we probably want to start working on steel wall lights instead, huh? When we can find some goddamn steel around. Would you piss off? We need to leave the house and get some food. It's some... Oh, go back indoors, you madman. I didn't realize we had another door there. Shit. Okay, we're good. Is he still... He's still a manhunter. We'll wait for a while. It should be okay. So the one thing I forgot about is obviously Jolt leveled up. So we can actually give him another point here. So what is this one? We've got uh, Feral Claws. Vampire's nails, nails grow into long, fearsome talents capable of rending bone and flesh alike. So I guess we need two points in that before he can use it. It's got to be the case, right? Um, yeah, because it doesn't seem to give any like bonuses. It doesn't suggest that. So I think we need two points now to be able to turn him into or to give him Feral Claws. Um, the Nightling just killed killed our turkey. I was saving that for Christmas, but that's okay. Don't worry about it, my friend. Is that thing pissed off yet? Oh, there it is. Um, it's gone. Hooray. We're good. Okay. You guys are welcome to go back outside now. Raid is over. Well done. So uh, that mod that I was talking about, the sometimes raid go, go wrong mod, it just is kind of like a comedic mod where they'll turn up and they'll try and raid you and then something go horribly wrong and they might, you know, uh, guests get chased by giant dinosaur turkeys. That's pretty good. Um, what's wrong with this short though? It's like, has it just been bled on or something? Oh, well, we'll bring it with us. Uh, go and grab that one. Go and grab that one. The corpse might be useful. Haul the corpse and we'll also take their limestone club as well. Thank you for that. The only other bit of advice I was given regarding this mod pack is that sometimes the prison labor mod can affect the dubs bad hygiene mod. It was described to me by like random uh, pipes can appear, certain plumbing can uh, sort of sort of fuck up essentially. So the problem with that is apparently all we do is just just close the game and reopen it and that can fix it all. I don't know why the hell it would cause that, but uh, if it's a big problem, we can disable one or the other and we'll see how we go. There are plenty of other prison labor mods available out there like slavery systems and things like that, which we could enable instead. But for the time being, I'm kind of happy just to see how it goes, see how it works. And there we go. Holy shit, hang on. Now we can get our feral claws. Oh, he's also kept that bow equipped. Um, it's not a bad thing. I, I think, though, if you've got feral claws, you could probably just rely on that, my friend. Uh, let's go and drop that and let our other boys use it instead. Right, there we go. Do you want to just go ahead and uh, let's go gear. And he's got 30 medicine just in his inventory, huh? Is that how we're doing this now, is it? All right. Um, do we want to strip you and take your mask? Let's just take a look. Prisoner. Feeling depressed. What a shocker. Uh, forced to work. Uh, work and recruit. 
Recruit. Re oh, this is cool. Okay. So let's just recruit them then for now. Let's bring another person on board. Let's, let's set ourselves a limit at like, what do you think? Five wardens per every ten prisoners or something like that. That's going to be a big old colony if we do end up getting to that stage. But, you know, I d I've never really done a collect them all in a, in a room world before. So let's go up to his bio then and level them up once more. Here we go. Feral claws. Boom. Nice. So is that like a temporary thing? Target self. They're not, it's not permanent. I thought it would be like a permanent melee buff. That's okay. It doesn't matter too much because it means if we do get that raid and it's looking kind of a little more dangerous, just to hit that button and then suddenly, hopefully, he'll be able to kill them all. Whoops. Kind of forgot about the whole meal thing, huh? Uh, Van's just going to eat that cult. That's okay. You'll be fine. Oh, he ate her head. He just ate her head clean. Are you all right with that? Raw cannibalism. I ate the meat of another human raw like an animal. This is a nightmare. Ooh. No, it's a... Jill p meh. Sorry, I didn't really know I was going with that one. Um, you guys could harvest this rice, you know. I mean, there's literally almost fully grown rice there, and you decided to eat a woman's head. I mean, I, I think, call me, call me crazy on this one, you might be the person with the problem. That might be your fault, Van, not mine. Why are they not harvesting this shit? Uh, Van's going on a sad one, but that's okay. Why, why are we not harvesting, my guy? Let's take a look. Work. Um, harvest. So Van and Jill are both capable of doing that. Um, well, it's, it's completely grown, so we'll just wait for them. Look, it's only today. It's only today you have to eat a human... Oh, did Mal also have to eat a human corpse? Oops. Um, yeah, it's fine. They're, they've got nothing to worry about, really. It's just a, just a fun old time. Nothing... No real concern there. Low mood, low opinion. Not much of a shocker, either. Good God. See, nothing to worry about. We've got a decent rice harvest. They've got plenty of food, and then they're still more just about to grow in a second. I guess we probably did this in two ways, right? It's probably like a raid turn up. We got distracted a little bit there. To say that they're both eating a raw human corpse... They're both fairly sprightly, huh? They're both pretty happy about things. He's, he's only just on the mental break risk, and he's not even bothered anymore. Yeah, you're right. I did eat that corpse, but I'm just not I'm just not, not concerned, really. What about him? Expires in very little time. If we can keep him just a slight bit happier. Yeah, look at that. Nothing to worry about there. Absolutely fine. Sweet. Fantastic. Eat corpses. If you're hungry, just eat a corpse. I, even if you've got almost fully prepared rice, just eat a fucking corpse. No one really cares. You'll get over it in a day's time, apparently. So, research time. I'm thinking we go for microelectronics. Uh, just as- I, I'm thinking we always should go for, like, microelectronics and multi-analyzers before anything else. Um, cause let's, let's take a look. What else could be useful here? The ability to build bows? It's not a terrible idea. Um, we can, we can make just the basic bows anyway. Machining will obviously allow us to build guns and ammo. That's actually not a bad idea either. Um, let's build some ammo. Like, that way we're not just going to say, oh shit, I've got knives again for the next raid. Yeah, uh, okay. You know what? You've convinced me. Let's do that instead. Why are we not... Well, time to re oh, god damn it. Okay. There we go. I was going to say, why the hell are we in darkness? We've definitely got enough wood. There we go. Problem solved, huh? Good. Base is no longer in pitch black, complete darkness. Even going through an open door wakes them up or disturbs them. Or maybe it's just working past them. Uh, Jilp has reached the biological age of 29. Jolp salesman reaps the benefits of immortality and suffers no side effects or penalties from aging. I didn't realize you suffered penalties from hitting the age of 69. Good God. Uh, 29. Jesus. Some Freudian slip there. So let's get down some actual lamps now. So we'll go wall lights and just put down whatever we can, you know, whatever we can muster already. So we'll put one there, put one there. Put it by the workstations is kind of an important thing. And then I'll also remove these other wall lamps in here, which are just kind of, you know, wasting wood essentially at this stage. We've got enough steel to do so, so it's not a big deal. We actually, they're not, we don't have that much steel, but they're, they're super cheap, so it doesn't matter too much. And plus they light the room up so much more. All right, perfect. Um, this one's apparently not hooked up to power, really? Uh, oh no, I guess it's not. Sure, we'll run that across there. Problem solved. Visitors, where are our visitors? Hello, what do you what do you want? We've got Black Gorilla and Huntsman. Are they selling anything? They're just here to visit. Right, let's also... Oh, they're still right there. Oh, isn't that... Good God, how blind can you get? Right, um, let's remove all of this stuff, and let's also dig up this entire load of steel, seeing as we seem to be quite short on steel. What we've got to do is whenever there's a trader, if they've got plastic and gold, like literally trade our fucking kidneys for it if we have to. Otherwise, the multi analyzer is going to be very difficult to get. We're not playing on a mountainous map. So the chance of those ores just being around somewhere is going to be very low. Is that? No, it's, uh, I thought it was uranium then. Um, let's see what I can spot with my little eye. Nothing, apparently. Are you joking? Uh, no, there is really nothing at all, huh? Well, okay, then that could be a very big concern whenever before we want to build the multi analyzer and whenever we want to build uh, anything else involving plasteel. Good. Okay, so we need multi uh, multi electronics basically as soon as possible then so that we can build a trade beacon and actually maybe trade with orbital ships for it instead. Why are you guys standing outside, huh? That's a little strange. We've got a whole base right here and you just insist on blocking my wind turbines and using my nice table instead. Don't pee on the floor. What's wrong with you, you animal? What do you mean you haven't got a toilet? Don't worry about that. There's a fountain right there, my guy. So that symbol there. 
uh, to my knowledge, from how it's been described to me, means that they are basically supervised. So you actually do need more active wardens if you want people to work. So we could maybe have a stone cutting or something. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Um, we could get a stone cutting all day. And as long as this is around, as long as she's relatively happy, she'll do so. And won't go into like a prison riot or anything like that. So wardens are going to be fairly important. I assume that's determined by the social stat. But well, you know, there's going to be a lot of teething things with this prison that we'll, we'll, we'll have to work through. Um, let's remove this then. Let's place this over here. Or, or we could reinstall it inside, I guess. So they're not playing hoop stones or horseshoes or whatever the hell it is this time around in the dark. What I might do or what I could be persuaded to do is reinstall this here. And then have the prisoner, you know, do some work. They might as well do something while they're here, huh? Because you can apparently force them to work and recruit them at the same time. Might as well have them stone cut forever. That's not a bad plan. All right, let's do that then. Um, build a copy. Put that through there. Uh, let's expand this round to here. We're going to have to cut off a tiny little bit of cotton. I don't really care too much. It's We've got, we've got plenty of stuff. Um, so that can go into there. This can be the prison. And this can be the only door into the prison. Then we'll just move our bed into there as well. So she's full of a room with just stones and a stone cutting bench and a bed. That's, that's a nice modern day prison right there. Jilp has leveled up in vampirism and in construction too. Cool. Um, I really love, would love to see level up being incorporated into the base game because it's just so cool. What is this one then? Mist form. Enables a kindred to transform his entire body into a fine chilling mist. Jilp is already fine and chilling. How dare you. Both immune to damage and able to give it. That's cool. So if we're being completely overwhelmed, you just, you just fly away as a nice cloud of mist. Let's absolutely do that. Right, okay. It's going to be the prison finished. Do we have enough wood left over to be? Yeah, we do. Okay, just to be, you know, putting down furniture, shit like that. All right, so let's go floors and actually give them a floor as well, just so they're not completely upset about. Because this is going to have a horrible amount of beauty. This is going to count as a really just disgusting room, like horrible. I hate the way they picked up meals from the freezer. Oh, because it's counts as a prison. Prison cell. So I guess they can't eat. I was going to say, I hate the way they picked up those meals then and ate them in the freezer. Very easy way to stop these war crimes from happening again. Let's go to the furniture um what's extra so we got extra furniture old style furniture furniture plus then base game furniture that's not confusing at all let's put down a table in here and just let them eat a couple of meals in here as well we don't need two chairs that's good all right so this is where their bed will go sorry you're gonna be really sad about where we're gonna put this my friend nothing to worry about though and then should we put on another stone cutting bench or we'll just reinstall this one i guess yeah let's just do that that's, that's a much better idea there you go nothing to worry about Okay, perfect. Oh, obviously, you know, there's an overflow of all these goddamn chunks as well. So we've made that for prisoners. And then Jilp, do you want to come and arrest her? There we go. Yeah, I thought she wouldn't fight off Jilp. And then, is there a way to make this just prisoners only? Um, how do we stop our colonists using this and set it so it's only prisoners? Colonists only. Prisoners only. <gasps> there we go. Excellent. All right. So you can piss off out of there, my friend. I assume when he's finished. What's he doing? Why is he... Why is he out? Are you shitting me? What the fuck do I do? I mean, what do I... Are you shitting me? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean he'll just walk outside and catch fire? I don't need to... I don't want to have to supervise the guy at every hour of every day. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why did he do that? I'm going to have to watch that back in super slow motion and see why the hell Jump had a... A massive freak out there. So, prisoner, you need to uh, work and recruit, if you don't mind. So, I guess we just say stone cut forever. Um, hang on. Uh, make any stone blocks forever. Uh, any worker. Yeah, just drop it, drop it on the floor. Do forever. And then, bish, bash, bosh, that's it, I assume? I have no idea. We probably want to also set a radius on that, just because this is like a bog where they can leave the leave the prison cell or some shit. Um, how do we get them to work, then? So we've got we've got that set up so that so let's just double check this is gonna no, no, prisoners only right um, do we need to like overseer with a warden permanently oh we can't even get in there because there's so much garbage on the floor um, I don't know I honestly don't know this is the world's worst prison it, we've already hit like human rights violations this is fantastic thank you just what we needed. Uh, so the battery is more than capable of storing power. What we actually have is a, just a distinct lack of power. So let's put a couple more windmills down here for a while. Water turbines would also be obviously very nice as soon as possible. I don't know how you get them to work. If you guys know that, feel free to hit me with that one. Because uh, I think everything's set up properly, right? Oh, whatever well, we get to work time and go like prisoners? Ah, oh, there we go. She's incapable of stone cut. Oh, maybe prisoners can't stone cut. Ah, oh, no, that would explain a lot. Um... She's not incapable of anything. Yeah, no. Okay, prisoners just straight up can't stone cut, huh? What if we give them points in crafting? Maybe that'll let them do it? We'll wait and see. So what can they do again? Let's go back to the work tab. They can grow, mine, or plant cut. 
So actually having a big quarry in the prison is probably the best idea we could do. Thank you for watching. As I said last time, one of the bonuses to these uh, more edited series is that we can get a lot done in one episode. And I mean, this is looking a lot nicer. Even then, it's not a huge amount of progress. But it means we can stick to just the good stuff and keeping the good stuff. So hopefully you guys like the transition from uh, the previous series to this one as well. Thank you. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series and the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Blurry Bunny, Sidini, Conspired T, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Fukundo Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Circle the Swede, Sorogon, Toby Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support, the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. It's most appreciated. And of course, the same goes out to Asaro, and in person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, all of this was UK. Arachnid 44, Betmus Max, Ben Troke, Sedini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Duncan 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerko, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I see the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock. Justin Walters, Lemon Stark, Luana Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Nixie, Pantamu, Panther Pearl, Smirt One, The Insane Pickle, Benny Meow, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico2. Thank you all for your support.